As we celebrate Women's History Month, I wanted to highlight amazing women in our Las Vegas community who are making a difference. Today, I'm with the talented, the ethereal, the boss, Jay Shanae, who owns a local business called Bougie with a Brush. She hosts events to help bring our community together through the act of painting, the love of art, and just self-reflection. So thank you so much, Jay Shanae, for being with us today on this lovely Sunday. Yay! Thank you so much for having me. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so but the first question I have is can you tell our listeners about your business bougie with a brush and how it how it came to be yeah absolutely so I started my business about five years ago I always loved creating art to draw all the time then I was in an art program where I did painting and I did made sculptures and all kinds of stuff and so I wanted to bring that to people to have fun. So I teach paint parties all over Vegas and we just like to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. So you've always had this kind of inspiration and love for the arts ever since as like yeah. a, a young girl. Wow. Yeah. And then, uh, so are you, are you from Vegas or have you lived here your whole life? I'm actually originally from Boston, East Coast girl. Yes. Um, I moved out here about 10 years ago and I've been ever here ever since. That's amazing. I love, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. So whenever I see somebody, hey, I'm like, hey. Yes. <laughs> so you just had an event called Her Story Unveiled and it happened at the Bottega Exchange. Can you tell our listeners about the goal of this event and kind of why it was important to have that storytelling element from, from these women into your event? Yes, absolutely. So the goal of Her Story Unveiled, we aim to share the remarkable stories of women and from diverse backgrounds worldwide. And we want them to be able to share their story and their journey to help motivate other women in our community to start their own businesses or do their own thing, you know? So that's the main, my main goal. I and love to that. celebrate women. I love that. And I think it's so important to have that kind of like collective group where we can come together and just be like unapologetically ourselves. Exactly. And so, I mean, so you really incorporate these elements of self-reflections, self-reflection into your painting events. I mean, why is that so important for the participants? I feel like it's important because usually when you're taking like a painting class, you're like, oh, I don't know. It has to be perfect. But for the painting parties, I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be your own thing. I always tell people to have fun with it. Pick up a brush and let it guide you you know wow. have complete freedom do anything you don't even have to paint when I'm painting paint something else and I'm still happy I love that because I also tell like people that are interested in like writing right because I also love to write I go just write just literally let the words guide you so I love that let mm -hmm. the brush guide you I also saw that you were showcased in the spectacular black girl art show in LA so congratulations for that yes, thank you that was so amazing and so, I mean, what was it like to be surrounded by artists that, you know, not only look like you, but also empower each other and then just reflect like the same goals. And I feel like when I'm surrounded by people that kind of reflect me, you can also share the highs, the lows and everything in between. So what was it like for you to be part of that art show? For me, honestly, it was just an amazing experience for the whole thing, because to be around other Black artists, it's like everything I love and do, you know, I create a lot of black girl art. And the reason why I create is because I feel like it's very underrepresented, especially when I was growing up. And so to see other women or, you know, around my age or, you know, older or whatever, creating black girl art, it's like, okay, yes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so your involvement in events like Her Story Unveiled, the Spectacular Black Girl Art Show, and so many more. You have tons of events throughout this year. Um, I feel like it really highlights and celebrates diversity, inclusion. I mean, how do you envision the role of art and even your events to promote social change and breaking down barriers? Honestly, I just really just want to support other people and, you know, make them have fun and not think about everything else going on in the world. You know, I try to do that throughout art, my art events, my paint parties. So I always just encourage, you know, people to pick up a brush and start painting or do anything 
that makes you happy. Along with kind of just being an artist, you also are a boss woman, entrepreneur, basically CEO of your company. <laughs> How do you balance the artistic expression with the business aspect of running of running bougie with a brush? I mean, do you find one aspect more challenging or how do you balance that? Yes, it definitely has its ups and downs. Definitely a lot of challenges, you know, along the way. But honestly, I just want to keep going because I want to show my daughters that they can do anything they want to do in life. So that's what my main motivation to keep going and, you know, spreading my, you know, business all over because, you know, I teach paint parties, but not only that, I also create other types of art. Like, you know, I make earrings, I paint on jackets now and all kinds of stuff. Wow. <laughs> a mixed medium artist, literally. Yeah. I mean, there's no barriers with what you can create, I feel. Um, exactly. I mean, how did you even come up with with your company? I mean, did you always envision yourself like kind of running an art company? How did you how did you get this company started? So actually, I didn't even I always knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And it's funny because when I was in high school, I used to sell cake pops and cookie pops and stuff like that. And then I was in that art program that I was talking about. I was in a painting contest. And this is a story that I tell all my people all the time at each event. When I started the painting contest, it was like tulip and I didn't really like where the tulip was going. And then I was like, okay, I need to take a break. And I started looking at all my friends' paintings. And then when I seen their paintings I was like I need to take a break because I don't like the way I was like I need to start over I need a new canvas or something and I was like telling the lady Susan can I have a new canvas because I don't like this and she was like no Jasmine you can't have a new one no mm -mm, keep going so then I was like oh, all right and then I turned it around to the side and then I put like dollar bills on there because I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur and then I drew dresses on there because at the time I wanted to be a fashion designer and then I drew like a house on there and a mansion on there and I wrote dream big and so fast forward to the day of the contest I ended up winning that contest yes. and I didn't even like the painting so I always tell that story because I want people to express themselves don't be a perfectionist like me just have fun and so then from there I started doing more creative stuff and I was like yeah I want to bring that out into the world and do more I mean what a beautiful story to where oftentimes we're our worst critics right especially like I feel like we live in such a society where how could you not compare yourself? We're literally surrounded by social media. There's always someone that's bigger, better. So mm -hmm. I think that's such a beautiful story. Building on the theme of empowerment, right? And especially with Women's History Month and looking at all the amazing women that have really ameliorated these barriers, how do you navigate and kind of address any challenges and barriers that you may face, not only as a, a woman who's an entrepreneur, but also as an artist and a Black woman who's kind of entering this space? For me, painting is honestly my getaway. It helps me like to not think about anything else going on in the world. So that's literally what I do. I pick up my paintbrush and I start painting when I get stressed out or I get frustrated or I'm like, oh gosh, I don't know if I can do this anymore. So I just pick up my brush, my paintbrush and just paint. So that's the main thing that I do. So looking ahead, what are your hopes and aspirations for the future of Bougie with a Brush? I mean, both in terms of growth and also your impact on the community. Yeah, absolutely. So I definitely want to, you know, do some more vendor events and more paint parties where I can, you know, have other artists come in and teach their own of thing or sell their own crafts and things like that. And then I eventually want to have my own lounge where I can have pop-up events, have my own space to teach those paint parties, not only going out to other restaurants and bars and lounges, which I definitely will continue to do because I love all of them, but I definitely want to expand. I absolutely love that. And I know that anything that you dream, you will achieve, period. Yes, period. Yes. And I mean, what advice could you give to other aspiring entrepreneurs or, you know, women who are looking to enter the space as artists, entrepreneurs, and, you know, who are looking to make their mark in their communities and beyond? My advice is to just start. Do yes. some research and start. 
whatever you want to do, start doing it. Don't stop yourself. You got this. Just go up there and get out there in the world and do your thing. For more information or for anybody that's interested in hiring you or um, even attending your events, where can they go to get that information? Yes, absolutely. They can message me on Instagram, Facebook at Bougie with a Brush, or they can go on paintnight.com. Every single event right now on paintnight.com is with Bougie with a Brush. Where did the name Bougie with a Brush come from? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know how I came up with it. It took me forever to find a name. Like months I was look, thinking about different names, but I was like, eh, that one didn't really, you know, hold. I remember my friend being like, mm, you Bougie. I was like, hey, wait a minute. Mm, bougie. Well, what about Bougie with a Brush? And then I just ended up becoming the name. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, one amazing story. I mean, so is there artwork or a piece that you created that you're proud of? Yeah, absolutely. I think the main one that I'm really proud of is a painting of like a mom doing her daughter's hair or an aunt doing her daughter's hair. It could be anyone because it doesn't have the faces on them because I like to not put a face because it could be anyone and you could still see the features. So yeah. I love that painting so much because I remember like Growing up, my grandma was always doing my hair all the time. <laughs> yeah. So for me, that's one definitely a personal connect for me. I mean, and hair is just so important, not, you know, in, yeah. in Black culture, Asian culture, and in indigenous culture. I mean, our hair holds meaning. It has history to it. The way with that we Absolutely. style it. So it's just what amazing picture. So hopefully if uh, you want to go check them out, can they see it? Can they see it online or, or did you post? Yeah, it on absolutely. If they go on Michael's website, I have a shop on there. You go on my Instagram, I'm sure you'll see it. I have it all the time on Instagram. <laughs> Yay. Well, thank you. So as indigenous artist, Andrew Opea McLean said, the responsibility of the artist is to make work that's real and that's reflective of something that's true. You have to be true to your own vision of the voice you're trying to find. And I think that's a beautiful quote to reflect these events and to reflect you as an artist as well. So once again, I'm here with Jay Shanae, CEO, boss babe of Bougie with a Brush. Check out her events. It's an amazing time. So thank you so much for being with us and spending this splendid Sunday with us. Yes, thank you.